In this video, you will learn how to create kits and bundles in QuoteWorks. By using this powerful feature, you will be able to save a tremendous amount of time by being able to add a group of items to your quote with just one click. QuoteWorks offers two types of bundles, simple and grouped. Simple bundles are used to add a simple list of items to your quote that have no relation to each other. Group bundles are used to add a group of items to your quote as a single group line item. The prices from the individual items will be hidden and automatically totaled and displayed on a single line. You also have the ability to hide the individual item descriptions and show only a single line item. In addition, a group bundle can have its own part number, item type, description, discount, and tax code. You can also set a group bundle to recurring group, which enables you to set the group bundle to a single recurring monthly revenue amount. To access the bundles feature, go to the products menu and select bundles. Or you can click on the bundles toolbar shortcut. This window will display a list of your bundles. By default, the show all option will be selected. If you have a long list of bundles, you can search for a bundle by selecting Search by Name. From here, you can clone an existing bundle, create a new bundle, edit bundles, and delete bundles. To illustrate how a simple and a group bundle appear in the quote workbook, I'm going to add a simple and a group bundle to the quote. I'll first add a simple bundle. As you can see, a simple bundle is just a list of individual items. It's no different if I were to add the items individually from the product lookup window. I will now add a group bundle. On the quote workbook, you can quickly identify a group bundle with the yellow highlighting of the items in the group heading line. And as you can see, a group bundle is a group of individual items that are logically grouped together and rolled up into a single group line item. These grayed out prices indicate that these prices are hidden and will not be displayed on the quote. If I were to adjust the price of any of these individual items in the group, the price for the group heading line will change in relation to the item price that was changed. Now let's take a look at a sample quote layout to see how a simple and a group bundle are displayed on a quote. The line items in a simple bundle are displayed on the quote as regular line items with item details. The line items in a group bundle are displayed beneath the bundle description. The prices for the individual items are hidden and totaled up on the same line as the bundle description. Here's an example of the same group bundle that has been modified not to display the individual line items. Now that you are familiar with the two types of bundles, I'm going to show you how to create bundles. I'll first show you how to create a simple bundle. To create a new bundle, click on New. From here, you will enter the name of the bundle. The name you enter here will only be referenced in the bundles window. Next, I will select the bundle I just created and click on Edit. The Edit Bundle window has two tabs, Settings and Items. On the Settings tab is where you will select the type of bundle and enter your bundle details. On the Items tab is where you will add the individual items to your bundle. On the right hand corner is where you will select the type of bundle. By default, Simple Bundle is selected. To create a group bundle, select Group Bundle from this drop down list. As you can see, there are more settings involved for the group bundle. Since I'm creating a simple bundle, I'm going to select Simple Bundle. From here, I can rename the bundle as well as provide internal notes about this bundle. Next, I'll click on the Items tab. On the Items tab is where you will add, edit, and remove items to the bundle. To add a new item, click on Add. When you click on Add, the product lookup window will appear. From here, you will select the items for your bundle. You can hold down the Control key to add multiple items. Note that items that are added to the bundle must have a manufacturer part number. Here are the items I just added. To edit a line item, select the item, 
and click on Edit. The Source Database field will be pre-filled with the product database from which the item was retrieved. You can change the Source Database by clicking on this drop-down menu. The Manufacturer Part Number is the part number of the selected item. The description is retrieved from the part number defined in the product database. The quantity field allows you to set the quantity. By default, it is set to 1. The sort order code allows you to define the order in which the items in the bundle will appear when added to the quote. By default, the sort order code is set to tens. This item here is the last item in the bundle. If I wanted to make this item the first item to appear in the bundle, I would need to change the sort order code to a number less than 10. The line type and line attribute settings allow you to further specify the properties of the items when it is added to the quote. A detailed explanation of item properties and item attributes can be found in the advanced bundle tutorial. As you can see, when I change the sort order code to 5 for this item, it is now on the top of the list. My simple bundle is now complete. Now let's create a group bundle. I'll click on New, type in the name of the bundle, select the bundle, and click on Edit. To create a group bundle, select Group Bundle in the Bundle Type drop-down list. From here, you can rename the bundle, type in internal notes about the bundle, assign a part number, and set the item type. In my installation of QuoteWorks, I have two item types to select, product or service. You may have different selections in your installation. Here is where you will enter the bundle description to further elaborate the contents of your bundle. This bundle description you enter here will be displayed on the quote as a group header line. To apply a discount to a group bundle and to convert a bundle to a recurring group, click on Group Properties. When you are rolling up multiple items into a single item, the common need is to apply a discount to the group. Group bundles give you the ability to apply a discount modifier, which will be placed into the price modifier column of the single group line item. To apply a discount to the bundle, click here. From here, you will enter the discount percentage amount. For the tax code, selecting taxable will apply the tax of the bundle after the discount has been applied. Selecting non-taxable will apply taxes to the total amount of the bundle before the discount is applied. To convert a group bundle into a monthly recurring amount, select this checkbox. From here, you can choose to include the first payment in the document and select the contract dates. You can choose from either the document contract dates or enter a specific date range. Here's where you will set up your calculation. All the individual items in the bundle will be totaled according to your APR, annual percentage rate, and terms you set here. We have created a separate video that provides more details on how to use recurring groups. To add items to a group bundle, I'll click on the Items tab and click on Add. I'll then select some items. To edit an item, select the item and click on Edit. The settings here are mostly the same as a simple bundle. The default line attributes, however, are different. The Hide Price checkbox is selected by default when you create a group bundle. To show the individual prices in the group, you would simply uncheck this box. If you want to hide the descriptions of the individual items and show only a single group line item, you would uncheck Print Line. The Don't Include in Group option can be used in two different ways. The first option is to set up the last items in the group bundle to be a formula-based line that can be added below the group bundle as a regular line item that is not included in the bundle. For example, you can add a formula-based line that is 20% of the amount of the group bundle. Another way this can be used is to create multiple items at the end of the bundle that are not included in the group. It will be added below the group items with this feature, you can essentially have a group bundle and then below it a simple bundle. The group bundle is now complete. Now that you have learned how to create a simple and a group bundle, 
let's add the group bundle I just created to the quote. To add a bundle to your quote, you can double click on the bundle or use these buttons to add or insert the bundle to your quote. By selecting Insert into Quote, the bundle will be placed above the currently selected item. By selecting Add to Quote, the bundle will be placed beneath the last item on the quote. When you select the bundle, you'll be prompt to enter the quantity. For a group bundle, the quantity you enter will increase the number of the group bundle header, not the individual items in the group bundle. For a simple bundle, the quantity for each item will be adjusted individually. As you have seen in this video, the Bundles feature is a powerful tool that gives you the ability to quickly and accurately add multiple items to your document with various options to fit your needs. Thank you for watching.